Hello YouTube. Sorry if my voice sounds rough. I've suffered since it started raining last Wednesday. I swear it's air pollution. Anyway, back to the story. I thought I'd explain this a little bit. Uh, I'm sure the wind turbine guys know exactly what all this is. But when I made this, I have two sources of DC. Okay, so I had four AC wires. What I did was these are parallel. Okay, I had them in series. The voltage did not increase that much, and it showed less milliamps of what I wanted if I was doing it right. So I wired them parallel, okay? This is like a little voltage doubler thing. Okay, these LEDs in here are wired for 12 volt. So there's a resistor on there when I took them out of that flashlight and so they work on 12 volts. Six volt, I was kind of scared I'd burn it out. Because I burned out some that I had set up for six volt. I don't know if they were cheap LEDs or what the problem was. Okay, real quick explanation. Hopefully we can get some wind today. Uh, we do have about a 15 mile an hour breeze on and off. This will show, say this will show 30 volts, right? If I kick on my LEDs, this will show about eight. So I don't know what all that means. I'm not familiar with all this stuff. But a 15 mile an hour breeze is enough to light these pretty good. We're making kind of a nice night light. Now, if we start getting a stronger wind, they're nice and bright. They're just like the flashlight when you buy it. This is that Harbor Freight flashlight. This is my overpriced flat lever toggle switch from Radio Shack. Not to plug them. Way overpriced. But these come with a resistor. These LEDs are only like a 3 volt uh, LEDs. There is a resistor on the circuit board. You will see it. It's, I think it's up on this curve and you got these. It makes it safe to use on your three batteries, four and a half volts. Okay. So that's how I got this rigged up. These are pulled off of connectors just so I have a little uh, grommet to go through here because I'll take them off. I do not like using them. If you take them off and smash this down with needle nose pliers, it works way better than trying to use a crimping tool. Okay. So the meter is on here, the output, and so is the light. There's nothing in a series on the meter. I know you have to go on series when you measure current amps. So, maybe this will help explain a little bit of how this is set up. This is just a toy. It's just experimenting. It's kind of hard to get the lighting right. If I turn my big light up above, I get a glare over here. Okay, we had to pause. We've got to turn our scanner down. But there's the setup. This piece of plexiglass. I don't have all these screws. I need it for strength. It keeps this from warping. This is really flimsy. It's out of a uh, Dremel type kit case where you can see all the product in there and the plastic case. And then I sanded it. It was scratched. So I just made it opaque or whatever. And left the cover off here just so you can see the neat guts to it. But hopefully we'll get some wind today to add to this video so you can see it working. So stay tuned, we'll see what we can get today. Okay, we're getting a little bit of a breeze. There's with the light off. It's gonna go back down, we're gonna lose it. It's just so hard to get wind. I knew if I put one of these up, I wouldn't get any wind. Take two, let's try it again. Okay, we have a little bit of a breeze. We're gonna shut off the switch. There's our voltage, okay? We're gonna turn on the lights. They're not real bright. Still nice night light at nighttime. I have this piece of paper here, so in the daytime that they're just barely glowing, I can see it. We'll shut the switch back off. There's the voltage without the lights running. There's the voltage with the light running. I do appreciate all the comments and suggestions, but I'm sure somebody out there might watch this someday and be able to tell me what all this means. We'll shut that back off. We barely got a 20 mile an hour breeze right now. I'm pretty good at guessing the wind. I have a windmill in my front yard, a little ornamental one. And 
I've gotten used to this. That really kicked on there bright for a second. So there you go. I only had to wait about 15 minutes standing here because it's been going up and down as I'm making this video. But I'll shut that back off again. Turn it back on so we can tell me what all this means. Is that I'm dropping? This is what bolts have left over, or what is the deal here? And we'll go out and get a view of that thing spinning if we can. Okay, we'll get about right there, give me about 25 30 volts. Now that's not spinning very much. doesn't take much to get the LEDs to light. That's what I like about the thing. Even though it's a real small turbine, it doesn't take much to get a little bit of LED lighting at night. But it's not enough, I don't think, it could ever charge a battery. Maybe in a really a heavy, heavy wind. I hope you can see it, but I got uh, black duct tape over there, waterproofing that, then the back is covered with the bearings open with a piece of silicone. Hope my tape don't fall out before winter's over. This is how this is mounted in the tower that little T-bolt to go through there and I got one here then the wires are coming out of the inside of the pipe which is here I don't know how blurry that is uh, plenty of slack so if this winds up I can always unplug them here I have heat shrink tubing where I can reach in there see where it's only at the top uh, to keep the rain off you can always unplug it and unwrap it there you go up close personal shots. Kind of scary being on a ladder. I just don't have the stability I used to have, so I gotta be really careful. It's been sprinkling this morning. Don't slip on this aluminum ladder. There you go. I showed that in another video. The tail seems to be plenty good enough for me. It does track the breeze pretty good. It is kind of heavy, but I wanted it kind of heavy, kind of like on a kite. When I was a kid, I knew if the tail was heavy, it'd be a little more stable. There you go. Might be a long video, but I want to get some footage in here. Kind of looks neat there with the clouds in the background. Thanks for watching.